Here's a quick tip when you're building a hydraulic reservoir for a front end loader or any kind of piece of hydraulic equipment. Uh, you want to be able to test what you've welded to make sure that it's not going to leak any fluid when you put it in there. So what I've done here is this is the tower and reservoir for a front end loader for a garden tractor. This happens to be for our Cub Cadet 149 tractor loader backhoe transformation project. This is a half inch to quarter inch uh, uh, coupler for this quick disconnect hose. This is running to a small air compressor that I have here. I've plugged all of the holes for the hydraulic system with uh, end plugs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to pressurize this hydraulic reservoir with air. I pressurized it with 80 psi and now I'm just going to spray a little bit of soapy water on the ends. You shouldn't see it bubbling at all. If you saw this like blowing large bubbles like a soap machine or a bubble maker, that way you know there's an air leak. And in our case at the very bottom here, there are no air leaks happening. So that means when I put hydraulic oil into this tank for our front end loader, it won't leak and that's what we're looking for. So there's a quick tip using an air compressor to pressurize your hydraulic uh, reservoir to make sure there are going to be no leaks.